Hi, welcome to this video on how to guide dreams. Now, the first thing to know is that dreams are a thought responsive environment. That means they respond to our thoughts, intentions, expectations, beliefs, emotions. And so when we're in a lucid dream, things will happen in response to how we're thinking and feeling and intending. So for example, if we think, uh, think about our dog while we're lucid in a dream, quite likely that dog will suddenly show up in the dream. It will trot into the dream and uh, we can start interacting with it. Lucid dreaming is a conversation. It's a mutual adventure that we enter into with our unconscious mind. And so it's best not to force your agenda too hard onto the dream. Uh, it's nice to respond creatively, intuitively uh, to everyone and everything that's within your dream. And we can really guide dreams into very beneficial experiences. For example, one woman had a really bad spider phobia. She couldn't be in the same room as a spider. And she decided to face this in her lucid dreams. So she became lucid in her dream. And because she knew that she was dreaming and would wake up safely, she didn't have the same level as, of fear as she would normally have in waking life. So in her lucid dream, there was this spider and she managed to, to touch the spider and it felt okay. And then astonishingly, the next day, having had that lucid dream, she was able to allow a spider to run up her arm in waking life. <laughs> so it can really have remarkable effects. It can be very beneficial to guide dreams just a little bit here and there for healing and resolution or for exploring the nature of reality. You can also improve skills in lucid dreams such as speaking in public. You could try public speaking in a lucid dream to get used to speaking in front of a crowd. It makes it easier in waking life. It's a form of very strong rehearsal. It sends a very strong message to your unconscious that you don't need to be fearful about this event. You can also practice learning a foreign language in your lucid dreams. I've done this in the past with various languages. Or you might want to explore the nature of reality ask the big questions, you know, what, what is the universe? Why am I here? Is there a God? What happens after death? You can ask those kinds of questions and receive some very illuminating answers in lucid dreams. You can also heal yourself on all levels. You can guide the dream towards healing conclusions and you can solve problems in your dreams. And we'll look at those things uh, in the next few videos. It's also good to consider any limiting beliefs that you may have about your ability to guide lucid dreams. If you think it's hard, you know, oh, guiding a lucid dream must be super difficult, I'll never manage it, then it's really good to create a statement that counterbalances that negative limiting belief. For example, I easily guide my dreams. Yeah? And you can also visualize yourself easily guiding a lucid dream. And those two things in combination, that positive statement and also this visualization of you actually doing it, that packs a very powerful punch. It will really show the unconscious um, that, yeah, this is possible and that you want to do it. <laughs> 